Paul. Yes. Mm -hmm. It seemed that nobody believed this. 25 years um, a minimum prison sentence for uh, kidnapping. Yes, child crimes. And then the SORNA Act. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I think something happened to another parent. Now, they revised that and amended it on the 25th anniversary of the Adam Walsh laws. Yeah. And uh, when I look here in 2011, I don't see that as a father I was given any actual notice or opportunity to be heard before you gave custody of my sons to my wife. Yes. <laughs> but does a protection order give her the legal right to claim them as dependents? Pooch. Now, I don't see that it's a, uh, a civil court uh, order of custody for the purposes of uh, reporting income for the IRS. <laughs> Something's missing here. I mean, if we look at it, okay, <laughs> here's page one. Yes, this is the last one that you issued on the 31st of 2015. Yes. Were these five minors named Zachary Bishop, Deacon Maximilian, and Benjamin happen to be my biological sons? Yes. <laughs> Hmm. And um, you say you have jurisdiction over the parties, the minors, and the subject matter. Mm -hmm. Now, the respondent did not have reasonable notice and an opportunity to be heard. Yes, notice of the hearing wasn't served on the respondent by personal service, service by mail, or service by publication. Yes. Yeah. The respondent didn't receive actual notice of the hearing. Pope. <laughs> respondent was or was not present at the hearing. I wasn't present there because you didn't give me notice of the hearing. <laughs> now, the order was not issued in accordance with the full faith and credit provisions of the VAWA 18 U.S. Code 2265. Yes. You issued it for 10 years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, court order restrained from committing acts of abuse as listed in provisions 1 and 2 on page 2. <laughs> and then there are additional provisions at, are listed on the following pages. Yes. Now, yesterday we looked at uh, the provisions of the restrained person known as myself. Yes, the respondent is restrained. <laughs> Uh, from physical harm, bodily injury, assault, including sexual assault, and from molesting, harassing, threatening, or stalking the petitioner, or the minors named in the table above. Poop. <laughs> and then the respondent is restrained from harassing, following, keeping under physical or electronic surveillance, cyber stalking as defined RCW 9.61.260. <laughs> And using telephonic, audiovisual, other electronic means to monitor the actions, locations, or wire, or electronic communications of the petitioner or the minor's name on the table above. Yeah. Now that's what this says. Okay. Provisions 1 and 2. Pooch. I am restrained. Okay. Now, of course, I didn't email her. That would violate the restraint provisions of the civil court order. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm restrained from coming near and having any contact whatsoever in person or through others, Pooch. by phone, mail, or any other means, directly or indirectly. <laughs> now, as the restraint, if I was at the library first, yes, <laughs> and then my son showed up second, yes. how did I know they were going to go to the library? He didn't know. <laughs> and then seeing somebody on a skateboard or something else, yes, on the street, how did I know? Oh, I didn't know. Huh? You took my son's. <laughs> Now, the respondent is excluded for petitioner's residence, workplace, school, the daycare of the minors named in the table above. Yes. I don't know where she lives. I've never been to her workplace. Mm -hmm. I haven't been to their school. I've never been to the daycare. <laughs> and the petitioner's address is confidential. I don't know where she lives, and I don't know where she works. <laughs> now, I know I could use Google to search. Right. Does she really work in the Brennan School District, or is that some sort of bunch of bullshit? Because do you know where somebody works, even though the Internet says that you do know where they work? <laughs> Let's say there's some fraud that happens on the Internet. <laughs> some disinformation. <laughs> Some news sites that report the arrest instead of the uh, conviction. Pow, 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 pow. Now, I'm thinking that somebody has been using disinformation. I noticed quite a few of the images that, if I googled my name, seemed like somebody had went through every image of myself through a, a search of Google. Yes. <laughs> Wanted to make the, the stupid ones be the pictures. Yes. Yeah. You wanted me to look stupid. <laughs> Could you get every image of myself, my sons, and any and all persons that I'm going to sue, inclusive of all of those in office in the United States? 
Has anybody been doctoring, yes, changing, photoshopping, or uh, manipulating any image of any individual that I have the legal right to sue, <coughs> and I have the legal right to know of their identity? Bow, 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 bow. Now, let's say, okay, you're the governor of the state of Washington, mm -hmm. and you want to make the governor look stupid, so your top secret, <laughs> just get me the images on the internet. <coughs> of every oath of office of this nation, oh, all sheriffs and police officers, oh, every individual that's an attorney, yes, a judge or justice, a court commissioner, a probation officer, all of those that work as guards in any prison of the United States that's found out about this international child abduction, yes, every individual elected to office in all tribal governments, all of those in the organic acts. <laughs> and then just give me every image of every individual <laughs> of every school district that I have the legal right to sue for knowing about child abduction and kidnapping. See, when you try to make me look stupid, you're trying to make everybody look stupid. It's kind of like the dog way of doing things. Yes, it is. <laughs> and when I think about looking at my own image where I'm like, <laughs> I want to... <laughs> yeah. Well, you try to make me look like I'm really insane. <laughs> Let's say you did that to somebody in office. <laughs> you decided that you were going to alter the actual image of those that are <laughs> in the presidency. <laughs> you know, I've, I've noticed that the president of the United States has a lot of pictures. <laughs> Different times I'm looking at the, <laughs> the news media sites, you know. <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> well, let's say that it's a type of slander, is it? <laughs> See, there was a picture of my sister Susan Bowers holding Legina. Yes, I don't think she looks anything like Marilyn Van <laughs> I'm sorry to tell you that. No. <laughs> Just give me the images on the Google right now. <laughs>